Alright, what's going on? So I'm here to show you guys how I'm going to go ahead and put my moon jellyfish in back inside their tank. Jellyfish, these moon jellyfish, they can sting you, however it's not potent enough to hurt you. Heather, why don't you come over here. Alright, so here, there they go. I have three jellyfish and they're going to be, end up going in their new tank. So let's see. Here we go, here's one. You got to be very gentle. Ooh. Just to let you know, they feel like snot. That's kind of what you can expect to feel. So there goes one, back in his home, and here is the other, the other two. So like I said, be very gentle, very fragile. They're 98% water, so nothing stinging. There he goes. And then this guy. He's went through some couple battles, so hopefully he can stick with us, but we'll see. That's why I'm doing this water change, to make sure everything looks good. And there he goes. So all three jellyfish back in their homes. And uh, yeah, so that's just to show you guys that moon jellyfish do not sting, and if they do, you do not feel it. So real quick, since I'm already have my camera in a hand and everything. Here's your turkey baster that you would use to feed him and everything. Now if you take a look at the bigger guy, you can see he actually has some bubbles in him. Those little air bubbles right there, that is not good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and penetrate those air bubbles out with this turkey baster because you definitely don't want your jellyfish to have that in there. So you're gonna lightly go ahead and try to get those bubbles out pulsing water in, into his bell. There you go. And as you can see, air bubble got released. He's got one more in there. Or two that we gotta get out. So the reason you don't want the air bubbles in there is going to damage his bell because that bubble is going to want to escape so it's going to create a hole in your jellyfish and you really don't want that so there's one more left in there it looks like it wants to work its way out itself there it goes so boom all the bubbles are out that's what we want to see And so off camera, I never showed you guys, but I took off all the bubbles that were along the acrylic, all the bubbles that were along the sides of the wall, and the bubble channel plate. So there are no bubbles in there. Bubbles are all out of the jellyfish, and uh, I think we're good. <clears throat> Go ahead and throw on the lid, and we'll do a little cleanup all the water spills. Alright, and there you have it. As you guys know, you can go ahead and change your colors to whatever you want to go with. And let's see, let's do, let's do purple. I think purple looks pretty good right now. But there you have it. I just want to go ahead and show you guys that it is okay to touch a moon jellyfish. So if you guys happen to go ahead and want to go buy some, you don't have to really worry about them stinging you. Or be skeptical about it because I pretty much went ahead and showed you guys. But that's about it for this video. Just want to give you guys a little quick lowdown on how I handle my jellyfish and um, what you can expect. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, lay them down in the comments below and I'll make sure I answer those for you to the best of my ability. Alright, so until next time, I want to say never leave your life on idle and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.